When it comes to finding love, poor old Hagrid wouldn't see many takers. After all, his race was few to none. He was a half-breed, half-giant that is. Yet in the fourth instalment, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, he finds a love interest in Madame Olympe Maxime, which breaks down quicker than it had time to begin. So what exactly happened between the two? Happiness can be found, even in the darkest of times, when only remembers to turn on the light. With the arrival of Bobaton's Academy of Magic to Hogwarts, Hagrid met Madame Olympe Maxime and immediately took a liking to her and it was reciprocated on her behalf also even to the point of Hagrid wearing ill-fitted, mist-matching smart clothing in order to impress her, something Harry Potter humorously noticed also. Hagrid even attempted to give her a tactical advantage by showing her the dragons for the first challenge, although he did show Harry too. Madame Maxime and Hagrid grew closer as the days and weeks went on, having more conversations, and they found each other as equally pleasant to be around. The two even attended the Yule Ball together, and seemed to have a great time. However, the relationship turned sour when Hagrid incorrectly misinterpreted Madame Maxime as half-joined. Except, he wasn't incorrect. She was indeed a half-joined, but she was fiercely in denial about her stature. Like most half-breeds, or any creature of unusual birthing circumstances, they will be looked down upon and be subjected to prejudiced views. And this was something Madame Maxime was all too aware of, as it wasn't just Britain that shared such derogatory opinions. As a great a witch as she was, Olymp most likely believed that if she did not confirm she was half-joined, then nobody would have the right or the audacity to ever call her out on her half-breed race. Now, in a way, I do understand her point of view, but denying her race, be it one of considerable controversy, is to deny where she comes from and a person's race does not define what they can achieve. I believe Madame Maxime really misses the point, because she's the perfect example of it. Hagrid, on the other hand, really embraces who he is. It's why he struggles to contain his excitement that he finally has come across someone just like him. Hagrid applies himself so graciously to the areas he's skilled in, and it was he who felt more hurt, more insulted in the end at Madame Maxime's reaction, for even Hagrid had no time for someone who was embarrassed of who they are. Although I feel he at least tried to understand her point of view, as she was in such a position of prominence, being a headmistress. Still though, Hagrid was immensely proud of who he was, and where he came from. At the end of the school year, the two half joints went their separate ways, and not on good terms. It left a bad taste in Hagrid's mouth, as this was his first real experience of what he most likely believed was love and it ended with him being hurt. However, there is a somewhat happy ending because both Hagrid and Madame Maxime did reconcile when it came to meeting the giants on Dumbledore's behalf. It's not confirmed if they ever rekindled their romance, but neither of them ever married. That's all for today's video everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps the video out in a great deal. If you feel my channel has earned your subscription, then hit that subscribe button, really important. Guys, thank you very much again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.